It's interesting working with a, a high concentration of rare diseases, it doesn't become so rare anymore. You know, it doesn't feel like, you know, very Pompeii, late onset Pompeii disease is so rare because we're, like we're used to seeing it. So, um, the zebra becomes more like the horse, in a way. Here, for these patients, um, because their respiratory problems are muscular in nature, so it's not like somebody with lung cancer or COPD or um, pulmonary hypertension or anything like that. So theirs is muscular. Um, so we do the six minute walk test first. Okay. So we do have an order uh, when we do these evaluations, there is an order that we go by. And that's because it's the most strenuous. So we'll, we'll do that first and then some other standing exercises and um, like I said, the accommodations that we make is if they have to have some sort of assist to breathe. And usually that's somebody on a BiPAP. And then we just do the testing with the BiPAP on. Hip, hip extensors, so that's why they kind of lean, you know, they, hips are forward, shoulders are back, they don't have any, this muscle. Proximal muscles are the weakest with Pompe disease. That's why you get a lot of respiratory issues, swallowing, tongue weakness, um, hip weakness. So that's why they kind of go side to side, because their muscles on the outside are weak. They, you know, they have that posterior thing going on because their hip extensors are weak. So it's really abdominals are weak, back extensors are weak. So it's all the proximal muscles that result in that particular walking pattern. So the healthy fibers, they can get bigger. So yes, it's important to exercise. It's important to do breathing exercises to keep your diaphragm strong. It's, um, it's important to stretch. It's important to do overall body exercises. It's good to do cardiovascular exercises. So yeah, it can, they can, maintaining a certain strength level is improvement because the natural course of the disease is a decline. So if you can maintain, you're doing better.